Today we're at Maricopa Middle School, home of the Indians, and we're here to... All right, we're back at Maricopa Middle School. We've got the 7th and 8th graders presented with the NIM Challenge, and we're going to have ourselves a little tournament to see if there's a strategy that works better than others so that you're guaranteed to win practically every single time you play right from the very beginning. So, you guys remember how to play? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so Ruby, can you explain to me the process here? What do you need to do? Um, for player one, I could only take one or two. Right. So each person can only take one or two off the board at the time. You may take, if you take two off, they don't have to be in the same row or the same column. All right, they can be anywhere on the board. So sometimes people go, oh, well, if they're not together, I can't take two. You could go like this and take two this way. All right, so I'll move it over here so you guys see a little bit. I could go like this and take two that way. It doesn't matter where they come from. They don't have to be next to each other, okay? The goal is, you want to be the person to take the last one or two off, okay? So, is it Cassie? Mm -hmm. Would you like to go, so you guys can go ahead and start playing, and since we have an odd number here, Cassie and I are going to go with this. You want to go first or you want to go second? I'll go second. You'll go second? All right, I'll go first. Um, I'll take two. Okay, so start thinking, because there's nine left, right? Because as we were seeing earlier, when there's three or four or five, it's kind of easy to figure out. But now that there's nine, now there's seven. So think about... Ooh, I won. And you got me on that one. And you got me on that one. So did you have a strategy, or were you just like, hopefully it works out? Honestly, I just predicted that you were going to take one, and then I was going to take two, and then you would take one, and that would Okay, so you were guessing. Okay, so you were guessing on what I was going to do, right? And that's a strategy, right? Thinking about, all right, I got an idea what he's going to do, so if he does that, I know what my next move is going to be. So let's go ahead and go again. Now, the last time, I went first. So you go first this time. Now, last time when you went first, how many did you take? Remember? Do yes. you remember? You took two last. You took two last time, and I think I took two. Ah, well, who cares? Let's go ahead and keep going. All right. So I'll go like this. The same thing's going to happen, isn't it? Right? Did you see what was happening? Did you pay attention to my moves as well as your moves? What was happening? Uh, you were almost copying me. I was exactly cop I was exactly copying you, right? So if you go first and I do exactly what you do, you will win. Right? It happened that time. So here's what's going to happen. What I want you to do now is you're going to go first again. All right? But instead of me doing exactly what you do, I'm going to do exactly the opposite, and we're going to see what happens, all right? Well, I may need to take two. That's right. Ah. You have one possible move, right? hoping that the old man might be a little asleep and not pay attention to what you're doing. All right, Cass, make you move one or two. All right, there we go. So that strategy, so you can think, all right, if the person, like if you go, hey, you go first, let the other person feel, hey, you go first, right? Start the game off. If you do the opposite of them, we know that it can work. Do you think it'll always work? Let's try it. So this time, I will go first. All right, and I want you to do the exact same or opposite. 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 All right. So I'll go first, and you do the exact opposite. All right. 
right, so you can see. So doing the exact opposite. So what I want you to do is as you guys continue to play, and who has some other strategies on what you guys are doing? Have you won every time? No. Did you win every time? No. Did you win every time? A couple of times. What was, a couple of times. What was your strategy? What were you doing? He took two. I took one. So you did the opposite. So you did the opposite, right? Same thing that we worked on right there. What about you guys? Did anybody win a lot more than the other person? And what was your strategy? So keep counting down. And when I was down to the last five, I would start calculating what the possible moves could be. I could take two, and there would be four left. He could take two, and I'd get the last two. There you go. So thinking. There you go. So thinking ahead, right? So that's what I wanted you guys to do. When we looked at the three were there, four were there, five were there, but you want to see if you can develop a strategy so that when you have the whole thing set up, no matter if you go first or second, you always develop a strategy so that you win. And that is the game of NIM. And we did it with seventh and eighth grade students at Maricopa Middle School.